Okay, so Reality is a very, very different film from anything I've seen in a very long time. We are in a suburb of a of a small American town. The young girl comes home. She's got her grocery shopping to find FBI agents on her doorstep. Turns out that she is a or is may is or may not be a whistleblower uh, who let out the secret that the Russians were trying to influence the 2016 presidential election. Here's a clip. This is my partner. What partner? Wally Taylor. Hey, how are you? We have a search warrant for your house. Oh my goodness, okay. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. 125 pounds, you guys. Flatter me. Sorry, I have a sense of humor. I was on your driver's license. That's right. Okay, well, I lied. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> so, so what we have here is um, the FBI interviewed this girl whose name was Reality Winter. They recorded the interview outside her home, inside her home. The entire script of the film is the recording of the interview. And every now and again, we get on screen the, tr the, the, uh, the text of the recording, but bits redacted. And then we go back and all the lines are from this recording, the whole film. The whole script, so, and it's a so genuine is this a, recording. Is this a documentary, or is this a real? No, it, it, it's a, it, well, it's a docudrama in a sense. Okay, but it's a recreation of this interrogation of this young girl. Did she or did she not leak sensitive documents during the 2016 presidential election? They interview her in a garden. They interview her in a spare bedroom. Everything was recorded. It's absolutely based on the actual recordings. And so you've got the actors saying the lines that were really spoken. Every now and again, the lines appear as text on screen with words redacted. So it's very topical. I thought this was fantastic. It's based on the stage play. Uh, it's by first time director uh, Tina Sater and it stars Sydney Sweeney. She is absolutely fantastic in this because one minute you actually believe that she's genuinely innocent, she's sweet, she's lovely, she didn't know what she was doing, she's just the girl next door who got herself in a bad position. The next minute, literally, you're doubting yourself and thinking, hang on, she's as guilty as hell. Uh, she obviously did do this. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. And as they continue to interview her, the truth slowly comes out. Um, it's a low budget. It's three, basically three central characters. Uh, one location, but based on a true story and based on an actual FBI recording of an interview with the mm. with the actors doing it as it was done. Right. And I thought this was really, really different. I thought it was highly original. Uh, it's going to get a limited run in cinemas. I saw it in a press screening three weeks ago, and it stayed with me. Um, and I know there's a rival podcast out there called Girls on Film, which Anna Smith and others do. And what, they've been there are other film podcasts? Other, other film podcasts, yeah. Um, but they've been praising this to the hilt. I thought highly original, highly different. And I think that Tina Sutter is going to be a director to look out for because she crafts this film in such a way that you are always off your guard. You're always off guard. What, okay. what is the truth? Okay. And when the, as I say, when the, when the text comes up on the screen, certain words are redacted and we go back... And, and the actors have obviously said those words, but we haven't heard them. So sometimes we see Sidney Sweeney reacting to something that the FBI guy has said to her, but we don't know what he said because that's been <laughs> okay. redacted. So it's okay. really clever. It's really good. Um, it got four stars, I think, from Empire. It got four stars from Total Film. Um, I think it got a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. I absolutely loved it. I thought because it was just so different. I'm right. really intrigued. Do we, know, do we know what cinema chain it might be coming out on? Is it a Curzon? I think or? possibly Curzon, yeah. Right. Um, so probably won't but do look out that. for it. I mean, I don't imagine it'll be long before it's available to stream. Yeah. And actually, I mean, yes, I would say see it on the big screen, but this is one of those films where it doesn't really matter whether you're going to see it on the big screen or not because it's 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 a limited setting. So you could okay. enjoy it, I think, equally at home. And in fact, right. I, just, I just sat there and, and let it... And really, really was gripped by it from the start because you just haven't got a clear is she guilty or she isn't she? And you change your mind about half a dozen times during the course of the film. Mind you, I've been on jury duty and I have to say, yeah. sitting on a jury, I found exactly the same thing that 
your mind flip-flopped about, oh, clearly guilty. No, clearly innocent. So it's a very difficult thing to come. But that sounds good. That sounds good. How many it, it's marks really, out really good. Marks yeah, I gave it an eight. So only based on Andy's score here, but an 8.0 makes reality a real... Ah!